doing a lot of these a lot because it's like, how do you know what the right one is when you're not walking with the Lord? You don't know. You don't know who's best for you. You don't know what's best for you. You think you know, but you don't know. The devil is the father of lies. Satan is. God cannot lie. the head he's our foundation he's our rock even more so as to why this whole waiting season is so beautiful even though it's tough at times it, it can be tough but it's not nearly not even nowhere near as tough as it is trying to wait when you're not submitted to Christ when you are not walking with the Lord it is hard to wait for the right one I've been doing a lot of these a lot because it's like how do you know what the right one is when you're not walking with the Lord you don't know you don't know who's best for you you don't know what's best for you you think you know, but you don't know. God knows what's best for us. He's the one that's in control. If you think you want to control everything, listen, God's not going to force his way into our lives. He's not going to force. He wants for you to want to submit to him. He wants for you to want that. He wants for you to want to spend time with him. Amen? Jesus Christ, he, he, that's our husband. We are the bride of Christ. We are submitted to the Lord. We're submitted to the Lord. Then when we get married, we are both to submit to Christ. So when I just, and, and yes, the, the wife is to submit to her husband. But then when I think about all that and how beautiful that is, listen, the enemy hates that. The enemy doesn't even want us having a relationship with Jesus Christ. He doesn't want us to know what our purpose is. He doesn't want us to be walking out our purpose. He does not want that. He wants to take souls to hell with him. The best way for him to do that is to deceive people by causing you to think that if you end up in the wrong relationships, which feel like the right relationship and then you start sleeping around with that person if it's not working out someone's you know not now you're breaking up and getting in another relationship or a situation ship and you're sleeping around with another person all these soul ties that are being created outside of marriage damaging it's damaging your spirit and that's what the enemy wants that's not what god wants john 10 10 says the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy Let me go to my ESV, because uh-uh. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. That is what God comes to do. So the enemy comes to steal. The thief comes to steal from you. But not God. God comes so that we can have life and have it abundantly. Have it abundantly. My little commentary section, it says, In contrast to the thief who takes life, Jesus gives life. Amen? The life he gives right now is abundantly rich and full. It is eternal, yet it begins immediately while here on earth. Yeah, sure, you're going to go through struggles. We're, we're in our flesh. We are still here on this earth. When you come to the Lord, that stuff happens immediately. That, that, that he will come, you know, that he would want us to have this abundant life. It starts immediately. Stay close to the Lord, friends. Stay close to the Lord, okay? Life in Christ is lived on a higher plane because of his overflowing forgiveness, love, and guidance. Have you taken Christ's offer of life? Whereas the thief comes to steal from us, Jesus Christ came to give us life. The enemy comes to take. Thief comes to take. Jesus Christ came to give and to give abundantly of life. Something that he gives right away. Jesus is so beautiful. He's so beautiful. The enemy hates Christians. He hates our relationship with Jesus. So he's always going to come and try to steal from us. Whether that be God's truth, which is through his word. His promises, what God promises to us. The enemy comes to try to tell us things in, in our mind. Tries to put things in our mind to cause us to believe that the promises that God promises us is something that's just not ever going to happen. No, no, no. The devil is the father of lies. Satan is. God cannot lie. That is just so refreshing to me. I find so much rest in knowing the truth. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. But the enemy comes to steal it, distort it, pervert it. Intimacy is for a man and his wife. Stay in the word of God and only take instructions from God's word. God tells us not to do something. If, he's, if he tells us that the desires of the flesh is sexual immorality, wild parties or orgies, uh, drunkenness, all that stuff, and that none of these individuals who are carelessly in those acts 
If they do not come into repentance, they will not inherit the kingdom of God. We are set apart. And so we need to walk in that manner. If we are in a waiting season, wait on the Lord. Because you know what? I believe, amen, that when I meet my husband, 